So imagine that you would like to make a part of your model transparent or invisible or actually just anywhere on the scale of transparency. Um, for example, if you look at my window here, you can see that it's kind of see-through but you still see the glass a little bit. So I'll just show you how to do that. You can do that with opacity maps. So let's just imagine that this plane is the thing that you would like to make transparent. And this is just an object that's behind it. We'll just leave that alone. So the first thing you do is you take the unwrap of this and you put it into uh, Photoshop and put it on screen here. Then underneath I have made a texture which is basically the texture that you have been making for all your other props. Um, which in my case is this gre uh, gray with a lighter gray and just a smiley in it. So what we do first is of course we turn off the UVWs and we save this as our texture. Then the second part is um, we make a new layer which I've called opacity here. Um, and everything that we would like to have um, invisible, we make black. Um, everything we would like to keep um, opaque, we make white. And everything in between, whatever you want, we will, um, for example, you can use a gradient tool and just make it like this or you can take a part and just make it one solid gray color like this basically um, and this you can keep white as well because that's not even part of your unwrap at all as you can see here um, so then this you save as well as a PNG but of course give it a different name okay once you've got this you go to your um, um, models you click on M and you might see this at first but in the left corner if you click on slate material material editor you get this basically you will get this an empty screen the first thing you do is you click on standard, you'll get something like this. Um, in diffuse, you click on bitmap and you go and select the texture you've made, which is of course a PNG. Yes, um, after you've done that, you go to opacity here, you click that, bitmap. And then you select the bitmap, uh, the, the PNG you've made, with the black, white and grey. Then after that you click on this standard thing. And here you click on the light blue circle which says show shaded material in viewport. And then you click on your prop and here you click on assign material to selection. And basically you will see um, your texture plus the opacity map. So if you would take off the opacity map you will get this but if you assign the opacity map you'll get this. So this part was white here so it stays opaque and this part was black so it is um, transparent and everything in between it may seem pixelated in the viewport itself but if you render it, it's smoother. So yeah, that's basically how you do opacity maps. Um, of course, if you're, if the only reason that you want opacity maps is so you can look through your model during the modeling process, you can just click Alt X, and it will make your um, model transparent. But if you render that, it will stay the same because the Alt-X technique is just for uh, modeling.